Yes, finally we have the Aurora, the latest kite from Panj. This kite's gonna change the way people see kite surfing. It's make, gonna make it affordable, safe, and easy for everybody to get into the sport. I bought this eight meter kite only for $300 delivered to your door. It's equivalent to probably a nine meter inflatable, brand new, you'd be spending what, $1,500 for one? So it's a big difference in price. Uh, you can get a bar, you can use your bar and lines from your inflatables on them as well. So you know it's a really good option for anybody who wants to get into the sport cheap or just want to have just more toys. I'll give you a look at it. it looks good. So I've got a few modifications. The valves are separated into two. That's a new patch thing. The other kites don't have it. But generally, when you look at the kite, the way it's made, man. It's even got the little bits, bits of the fly server has. These little things break off if you get the kite caught somewhere. That way you don't, don't damage the kite. That's a fly surfer at, um, bit. That's fantastic. That saves the kite if you get caught or you pop it or something. You know? Um, you know, it's... <laughs> it looks fantastic. You can't afford it. Like, it's like a nice kite. It's made well. The only thing I'm not too crazy about is zippers. Apparently it's got zippers somewhere. So zippers and, and kite surfing eventually don't work. They get rusty and that, but and, and they, they jam up, but I don't know where it is. It's supposed to be some zippers in here somewhere. I'll be flying it today, we've got a sea breeze happening every day in Byron Bay, so as you can see it's got cross cross bridling in there. Um I'm looking for a dump valve, so when your kite's pumped up, how do you take the air out? No, I can't seem to find one. That could be a little bit of a problem. I don't believe Pan would do that, build a kite without a dump valve. In Because I've got it in the Aurora, in the Adams, so it's normally got a little zipper just near the front there, to or a dump valve on the, on, the, on the bum of the kite, but I can't seem to find one. You know, the, pulley, the, the pulleys are, are nice and easy. Simple pulleys, nothing flash, you know, but they work. And they also um, they also give you some spare little toggles so if you break your lines, you know, the bridles. And a, and a little bag, put it all in, which is really cool. Um, yeah, a little bit concerned about the um, the dump valve. I'm, I'm, they've got a new system on, on the um, intake valves that might be able to spill the air out when you're packing it up, which would be good. But um, it'd be annoying trying to take the air out of this kite um, any other way without a dump valve. Just to hold the air quite well, so it makes it a little bit hard. But, you know, look, we'll test it out. I'm sure it's, somewhere, it's got a system there somewhere. We'll test it out today and see how it looks. But so far, I can't floor the kite. The kite looks perfect. It looks like a magic kite. It looks just like any other kite you'd got. You'd get, um, you know, I mean, same as any other kite. Ozone, the works. So we're coming into really some amazing stuff here. I'm telling you, this is going to change everything.